Well, hi again, everybody. It's Abe, and today I've got Lincoln with me because uh, Allie is uh, having some, some girl time, which is great. Uh, so, yeah, so I decided uh, let's do some fun activities with Lincoln, and uh, today we're going to bake sugar cookies together. Woo! -hoo! Hey, Lincoln, you excited about sugar cookies? Yeah. Cool. All right. So, I got all the ingredients laid out here. This is an old family recipe that we've had for quite a number of years. So I got an egg and a stick of butter because we're just going to use butter instead of margarine. But you can use whatever you want. We got some vanilla, uh, Mexican vanilla blend. I like it better. Got some flour. Got some sugar. Got baking powder, a pinch of salt, and uh, we're going to need some powdered sugar as well. But that's it's a pretty basic recipe. So the first thing I'm doing. Um, since Lincoln's going to be here and I want everything to kind of go smoothly as soon as we bring him over here, is I lined two baking sheets with uh, aluminum foil. That helps it to not stick so much. And I think we're only going to need two because this recipe is supposed to make two dozen cookies, so it would be like a dozen on each. Um, looking at the recipe here, we've got, uh, and now he's like, cookies, cookies, cookies? Yeah, we're going to make cookies. You want to make cookies? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's really excited now. All right, so we're going to cook it at 325 degrees. So I'm going to put the oven to 325. And just make sure there's not anything in here. Okay, that looks good. We'll do one batch at a time. And we have a stand mixer, so we're going to make use of that today, although you don't have to use a stand maker. I mean, I didn't grow up with a stand maker, so we made this by hand with wooden spoons and whatnot in the past. Yeah, he's excited about cookies. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare a bunch of these ingredients by measuring them out and getting them ready. Um, and then I'm going to put Lincoln on this stool here. And over here, we're going to have him put the, the ingredients into the stand mixer um, so he can be involved with that. And I'll see if I can get him to turn the stand mixer on. Got to be a little careful, but you know, he, can, he can still do it. He's got to learn somehow. Yeah, we've got these uh, newer versions of snap bracelets that he has fun playing with. He hasn't quite figured out how to unfold them yet. Oh, maybe he has. Kind of cool. Hi. Anyway, so yeah, so let's get to that, and um, and at the end of this, we'll have cookies. All right, now I've got a variety of cups and spoons over here. We're gonna start out. So we need two and a quarter cups of flour, half a cup of sugar. Um, three quarters of a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, um, let's see, what do we need for powder sugar? Baking powder, we need one and a half tablespoons, so we'll go ahead and do that one first. And then, um, yeah, so um, what I'm going to do, I got my one third cup here, which we don't need, I'm going to go ahead and crack the egg put that into here so that way Lincoln doesn't have to mess with that he can just drop it in Be good and then for the butter what? we're gonna go ahead and yeah. chop that up and the way I chop butter I'm gonna put in something cut it in half and then I cut it into quarters you can hear Lincoln say half and quarters in the background. He's quite the little mimic. And then I chop it into its little bits. So basically this each of these lengths is approximately a tablespoon. So we're, we're good with that. Um, all right, and the salt, let's just shake that. Uh, the baking powder. Go ahead and get that ready. Scrape that out even. And yes, the surface is going to get messy. Don't worry, I washed this uh, beforehand. So it is absolutely safe and clean. I'm not going to get you know, germs on it because we are going to be rolling on here later. And uh, as I use ingredients, I like to put them away. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I need two cups of flour and half a cup of sugar. So the sugar, go ahead and scoop that into here. And then that's right there. And then put the 
first put the first of the cups of flour in here. Get that ready for for yeah. All right, and I think we are ready for a Lincoln. Ready, Lincoln? Yeah. All right. So we'll put this over here. There's a knife. Ready to help Daddy make some cookies? Yeah. All right. Come on. And yes, technically there is an order to this, but we're not going to use the order. We're just going to throw all the ingredients in because uh, that's what it is. All right, so the first thing we need is a half a cup of sugar. So you put that in there, Link. Okay, make sure it's all out. Yeah, there you go. All right, so that's good. And then be careful with this one. It's liquid. Can you lift that up? Whoa, yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right, so that one's good now. You want to put the butter in? Use both hands. Both hands. Both hands. Carefully lift it up. And then put all the butter in. You don't want the wrapper in there. You don't want to eat the wrapper. Alright, yeah, there you go. Alright, you want to put the flour in, Link? Yeah. Careful. Oh, oh. <laughs> we had a little bit of a mess. So what do you expect? Right? Alright, so that's in there. And then uh, you want to put these, carefully put that in there, Link. Whoa, got it? Yeah, there you go. Cool. And then that one, oh, careful, that's baking powder. Yep, and the other one was flour. So now we just need to put a little bit of salt in. And then some vanilla. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, hold, do you want to hold the spoon? Yeah. All right, hold the spoon, hold it even. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, and go ahead and dump that in. All right, and now I'm not going to fill it all the way again. We're going to make it to about, you know, half of that, a little more than half. You can always have a little extra vanilla in there, it's fine. All right, so now we need another cup of flour. Cup of flour. Oh, careful. <laughs> That's okay. We'll use the other flour for uh, for dusting, for rolling out onto later. All right. So that's all good. So that's everything, I think. Let's make sure we got it all. Yeah, it looks good, huh? You see what's in there? So you got your egg, you got your butter, you got your baking powder, you got your flour, you got your sugar, and we got vanilla extract. And we got an egg, and yeah, and we got a little bit of salt, and I think we're good for that. So, let's go ahead and move over to, no, 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 let's put that down, let's put that down. Let's come on down. All right, so let's move over to the mixing stand. We got your cookies. Yeah, cookies. And these are in the mixing stand now. In the stand mixer. Oop. Come over here, Link. I'm going to put the paddle blade on it. All right. Lock it. And then, whoop, sorry, Link. All right, now, I'm going to pick you up. Or rather, let's get you over here. I'm going to pick you up. All right, now, let's hold your one hand. Now let's turn this lever to the right, okay? Can you push it to the right? Yeah, it's a cool screw. Push this. Push this to the right. Can you grab the, you grab the handle? Like that? Push it to the right. And then let's start it slow. Is that cool? Yeah! That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's spinning up yeah. and turning it all. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. It's good for it to be turning it all. So, we're going to let that mix for a bit. 
and it seems pretty dry. But yeah, so that's all there is to it now, right? Like night only. So you want to go play for a little bit more while it stirs? And then I'll bring you back over here to help roll it out and, and make the cookies? Yeah! Okay. All right. Alright, you play for a bit, and I will let you know when it's ready for the next stitch. Yeah. So. So we got Lincoln back in his play area. Um, and I'm going to let this mix until it forms, well it's going to form kind of a powdery dough. Um, but it will press together. And then once we can get it to press together, I'll roll it out over here. And uh, then Lincoln will be able to um, cut, cut out shapes. Today, We've got some dinosaur shapes. There's a big bucket that had 104 cookie cutter shapes in it that we got at Aldi a little while back. And they're uh, they're, they're pretty nice. So today we're going to do dinosaurs because he likes dinosaurs. You like dinosaurs, right, Link? It's you, dinosaurs. You like dinosaurs? Yeah. yeah? All right. All right, so we're going to make dinosaur cookies today. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that finished, and then I'll show you guys when to roll it up. All right, well, we know the dough's about ready because this thing's starting to rock and struggle a little bit. And if I turn it off, you can see that it has now formed a dough. It's not just crumbs anymore. So we're going to push that through and go ahead and roll that into a ball and then roll it out. All right, so we've got our dough ball and we split it in half. And I've rolled out half of it to about a quarter inch of thickness. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin either. And so. Bring Lincoln back in here. Come on, Link. Ah, Alright, yeah, come on up here. And the way I got this set up, <clears throat> I've got a pan right here. And then Lincoln can go ahead and cut out dinosaur shapes. So, I take the dinosaur and push it in real hard. Push it in. Yeah, you got it in there? Alright. Now wait, hold on, hold on. All right, and then we'll remove the cookie shape, or the cookie around it. Move the dinosaur out. And yeah, look at that. We've got a dinosaur. You want to make another one? Yeah. All right. Make sure you get all the dinosaur all the way in there. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, so you got that. And then Dad will go ahead and pull this around. We'll just cast this off to the side. <laughs> no, don't put that on there. Oh, it's not quite so perfect. Okay, all right. You want to try a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yeah. Can you put the Rex T Rex in there? All right, go ahead, push it down. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Push. All right. Ooh, looks like we ripped his head there. Whoopsies. Nose fell off. Cookies. <laughs> yeah, they will be cookies. Not yet. All right, you want to make another T-Rex? T-Rex. Yeah. Let's push it in there. Push it down. Push it down, both hands. All right. Now pull away the stuff on the side. Pull it still down. All right, pull it away. Pull it away. All right, and then this goes over here. <laughs> Lincoln wants to make some abstract cookie art here. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and finish off the rest of these and show you how it looks in the end. What? All right, we got to roll it. Yep, got to roll it. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> milk? 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 Yeah, we'll have some milk after this. Yeah, you can get down. You can get down. Whoop! <laughs> right, yep, that's the last of the scraps. And we have the last of the dinosaur cookies. You want to make one last cookie? Yeah. Okay. Here. Put it all up. Right now. Put it on the put it on here. All right. Now what shape do you want it to be? Um What shape do you want it to be? Um dinosaur. 
You want to be a dinosaur shape? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll try. We'll try to cut one more dinosaur. Out. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Well, that mostly works. Have a little missing. Oh, leave that alone, Link. Leave that alone. Okay. You want to get down? This is the last one. Whoop! Oh no! The dinosaur got ripped in half. Oh. Oh well. We'll do some surgery on him. Okay. Maybe it'll come out okay. Step on down, Link. we got to get you cleaned up. Well, we actually made two dozen plus one cookies. Thank you so much, Lincoln, for your help. You were fantastic. Um, and he actually did help with most of these, so we got some practice, you know, pushing the cookie cutters down. So, oven's on for 325. Hi. These go in for nine minutes apiece. So we're going to set our timer to nine minutes. And then we're only going to pop one at a time because otherwise the, the baking dynamics changes quite a lot inside, at least on my oven, because I do not have a fan. Yes, yes, Link, cookies, cookies. Oh, poor Lincoln. <laughs> he wants the cookies now. They're not ready to eat yet. So anyway, we're going to pop that in there and then <laughs> start the timer. And in nine minutes, we will have our first batch of cookies out to dry. Oh boy. All right. First batch of cookies. Let's see how it looks. And those look good. They've risen. They're not burned. They look dry. Big contrast to these. Don't know if you can tell on the camera. So we'll go ahead and put the second load in that in for nine minutes as well. All right, so once these are out, you will need a drying rack or a cooling rack for them. So, I have the cooling racks out here. And actually, in that nine minutes, I've actually cleaned up most of the countertop, all the flour washed off, the bowl for the mixing stands all washed off, Lincoln's playing in the other room. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get out I'm going to let these sit here for a couple minutes. If you start moving cookies that are uh, just out of the oven, they're, they're technically still baking and a little soft on the inside. So they could, you know, crumble and we, we don't want our cookies yeah. to crumble yet. Lincoln would be devastated. Not that he's going to crumble them himself. But, uh, yeah. So uh, we'll wait a couple minutes and then pull those off. And, uh, yeah, and then we've got to let them cool and dry so we can decorate them. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We'll go ahead and see if we can pull these off here. I'm just going to try to wiggle them very gently with my hand. And there you go. And you see it's it's a little soft in the middle because it's still hot. But the back is not burnt. Don't use an air blade or it won't cook correctly. Just use a regular cookie sheet. And there we go. We have some nice, beautiful... Pretty much perfectly cooked, dinosaur-shaped sugar cookies. And yeah, you definitely do want to remove these from the sheet within a couple minutes because some of these are already starting to build up some moisture on the back of them. And if they stay on there too long, they will get soggy. And who wants a soggy sugar cookie? I mean, that's just that's just kind of gross. So yeah. The nice thing is, if you use tin foil, if you did it right. Cleaning the pan is just as simple as not getting any crumbs on the pan. I'll try not to get any flour on the pan either. But yeah, this can just go back in the back in the drawer, perfectly clean. Woo! All right, so the cookies have dried a bit. We've got some vanilla frosting here. We're going to go ahead and put that in with a cheese spreader. This was my wife's idea. And we're going to put that in there. And uh, yeah, this is not a sharp blade, but it is made of metal. So Lincoln's going to spread with this. I might use one too. And then once we got a fair amount of that in there, I'm going to go ahead and dye it a color. And we do have some... Whoop, we do have some gel food colors. Apparently those are a good thing to use. We got blue, pink, yellow, and green. And Link likes green. 
let's go ahead and put maybe like well we will put like five ten drops of green five ten drops of blue in so one two three four five six seven eight of aqua colored dinosaurs and one two three four five six seven eight let's see what color that comes up with and we'll mix that up the nice thing about gel colors is that they make a pretty brilliant shade when you mix them up so that's a nice dinosaur color, I think. I think Lincoln will have a good time with that. Just, the cookies will look pretty good. So yeah, we just stir that up. And again, it's a good idea to mix all this up in advance. So that way, Lincoln uh, is, uh, yeah, it's ready when he gets here. All right, we now have Lincoln back. Hi, Lincoln. Hey, Are you ready to decorate the cookies? Yeah, okay. Now, I'm going to roll you up here. Alright, now what you need to do is you need, uh, let me show you. So I'm going to take the cookie. I don't know how well this is going to work out. Probably not too well. And you need to get frosting on it. Okay, and I'm going to do the frosting. And then you take the frosting and gently spread the frosting on the dinosaur. You want okay. a cake? Can you do that? Yeah. Can you gently spread the frosting on the dinosaur? Okay. So I will get you, get you another dinosaur. No, no, hold on. Now go ahead. Take the, take that. Actually take this one. A little young, huh? Sure. All right, here. The sugar. Trusting. All right, here you go. Now take take it with one hand. And I'll support the cookie with the other hand. You spread that on there gently. Yeah, go ahead, spread it on. Spread it all the way over. Here, let me show you. Alright, so that's two. I'm gonna get another one. And another stegosaurus. Put some oh. frosting on it for you. No, 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 no! Okay, <laughs> that stegosaurus no longer has a head. You gotta put frosting on it. <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh, being a parent. Oh, well. You'll get it as you age, Link. There. Let's glue Mr. Stegosaurus' head back on his leg, too. We can figure that out. That in there together like that, and that goes in there, and then this goes on this part here. And oh, Link, you just got frosting on my arm. Here, spread the frosting on this, not on me. Here, Link. Lincoln, not on my arm, please. Mm. All right. Come on. You got another one. Here, let me. Here you go.
It was very messy, huh? Messy, messy, messy. Yeah, messy. All right. Well, I'm becoming bigger a mess than Link, which is, I guess, is a good thing. Hmm. Well, we'll keep this up, and we'll uh, let you know when we're done. We'll show you the final result. All right, everyone. Well, it's the next morning, and the cookies have dried, which is great. So you can now touch them a little bit. We've got two layers here. We've got green and another, and you can see that the frosting hasn't really stuck onto the uh, upper layer of wax paper, which is great. And uh, we had a bunch of them last night, and they're fantastic. Uh, we've got them in this Pyrex dish, which is really nice because we can just you know, the wax paper and just put this on top, and now the ants can't get at it. At least they haven't yet. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. These are our family sugar cookies. We love them. They're really good. Lincoln really liked eating the one we gave him last night, and we, I think, had three apiece. I think they're about 80 calories each. Um, that's with the uh, homemade frosting recipe. It might be a little more with the uh, store-bought frosting. But, uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tell us what... Um, what results you have with your own cookies. And uh, yeah, see you all next time and have a wonderful week. Bye for now.